Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by, Spirit and Me, 1111. I had to go off camera a bit, this will be my third time recording for you guys today. And um, this one had some little problems with the camera. So, instead of letting it get me down or change my mood of energy for you guys, I choose to conquer the moment to stay in my good energy and spirits and to deliver this message for you lovely air signs. That would be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's get your love reading done for February. I'm forecasting here for you guys. Let's see what amazing messages Spirit has for you all. Okay, as always, my energies here are gender neutral. This could be male or female, so these roles could be reversed, okay? Whatever fits your situation, whatever resonates with you, that's your message. Time is not set in stone here. These could be events that have already happened, that are currently happening, or that are going to happen here in the near future for you guys. If you need more clarity into your situation or like a personal reading, my information is right below in the description box. Contact me, hit me up for a personal reading. I'm available for that. Um, and thank you all who have been liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please hit the bell notification if you guys would like to be notified next time I upload some videos. All right, so without further ado, lovely, lovely air sign. Thank you all for being so patient with me. I should be thanking myself for being patient as well. <laughs> Once upon a time, I would have walked away like, you know what? Mm, I'm not going to record anymore. No, I like a challenge. Challenges is an opportunity for my growth. I'm all about growth. So, without further, further, further ado. So, what type of energy we have right now is the Six of Swords. You're coming through troubled waters right now. You're all in your head about the situation. You're coming through troubled waters, but there are brighter days ahead of you. Those swords that you have in your boat are your experience, okay? What you've been through, your struggles, your stresses, your worries, your hardships, your pain. The pain is there to help us and shape us. Sometimes there's a lot of things that you can never come into and become without having had went through a certain particular set of events or circumstances in your life to create that change in you that's needed for your progression, that's needed for the next level. And the universe has a way of bringing those things um, into fruition for us. Five of Swords here. So you have someone who's being like sneaky, deceptive. It could be someone bullying you or definitely lying to you. You could be the target of like really petty gossip, you know? Like petty, petty gossip. Um, just the naysayers, the nitpickers. Just people who are just creating a lot of uh, negative energy. That's low vibrational energy right there. When it comes to love and to your reading, because you do have two swords here, so you definitely have some heartache and hardships and challenges going on in your current situation right now, air signs. Um, what this is telling me is that your person you're worried about, you're thinking about, is like lying and cheating and, and being deceitful and hurting you. Doesn't care about hurting you or anyone else. This has this type of energy like, they don't care about what they have to do or who they have to hurt to get what they want. It's like, I'm going to get that. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get it. And deal with the aftermath when it comes. Okay? That has you down. It has you in that Nine of Wands kind of energy. You feel like giving up. You want to throw in the towel. Okay? But no. You have strength and you have pertinacity. You know, call them that right now. Call on your help. Call on your guides. Call on your angels because you have those reserves behind you. You have nine reserves eight reserves you're holding on to one one and you're holding on to for dear life like you know it's your last fight in you you don't feel like you have any fight left in you but you got some fight left in you you can get up right now and change the situation and make it actually work for you if you take advice from spirit and your guides um you have temperance here this is sagittarius okay so air sign somebody in the equation your person could be a sagittarius or a sagittarius if you're here cross watching for the air signs Hello, nice to have you in the building. Thanks for showing up. Um, on the other end of that, there could be just, you need to create your balance, okay? Your right balance. You have to have patience and you have to create the right balance to deal with your situation, to find some calm, to come out of your head space about this. The worry, the anxiety, the stresses, the fears. Face them, take them head on. Meet those challenges and, um, and conquer them so that you can come out on top you have Aries here, the Emperor. The Emperor. So your person 
is showing up here like that leader, a natural born leader, a guy who um, people notice him, they notice his energy, they know that like he's the man, he's in charge of his um, establishments, the things he does, his relationships he has with people, he's successful in his career, he's a great father, he's a great nurturer, he's a great provider, he can be that strength you need, he can, he possesses all the king energy of all the kings in the deck, right, all the kings, so this guy is a very well-rounded, he's very versed, he's a lover, he's a creator, he's a fighter, he's a protector, he'll be all that you need him to be, and sometimes he can get a little obsessed with his soul and become a little narcissist at times. I'm not seeing a whole lot of that going on here, but I'm kind of getting that. When I see the emperor here and I see other signs of deception and manipulation, I'm like, eh, you're probably dealing with a narcissist. That could very well be the case. So I don't know. For some of you, let me know. Let me know if that hit home for anybody, okay? Queen of Cups. So you have water energy here, okay? Air signs, this person in your equation. Your person could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, what this card represents for you, for your reading, is that you're a nurturer. You're in that nurturing, loving energy. Like, you're really, really in love. You're smitten with your person. Like, the Queen of Cups, you can become obsessed with your own feelings. You can become really emotional, really clingy, you know, just like... Let in your heart, you rule with your heart and your emotions, okay? So you do become a little bit obsessed with your own emotions, with your own energies, and you let them consume you. And with this person here, your emperor, I'm seeing as though he can be your rock. He can help you see these better days that are ahead of you, okay? Whether he's the cause of this pain or not, his energy shows up really, really strong here. That emperor energy is really, really strong. That means this man is here. He's going to continue to be here, okay? Most likely, he's going to continue to be here. But he's very strong. He's going to give you everything you need. He's going to bring what you need to the table. That that you don't have, that that you lack. He's your emperor. He's backing you. He has that. He has your back. He wants to bring that together with you. He sees you as a queen. He sees you as abundant. He sees you as someone worth his time and his investment. And he knows that. So, right now, we're going to some waters. This too shall pass. This too shall pass change is coming it's on the horizon but you got to get out of that headspace of where the worry and the stress that's going on right now come out of that honey because you got a lot of greatness going for you you have a lot of goodness and i see the dark days behind and the better days ahead and that's what i'm liking here about this reading we start out with what had happened and we go into what's coming is what's ahead and that's what you want you know you want to know that good their better days are ahead and they are Five of Pentacles definitely was left feeling out in the cold. So that Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and then Five of Wands here. It's like, yep, yeah, you've been through, you've been hurt, and you've been scorned, and you're going through troubled waters right now. You're all in your head, you're all in your head space, and you're fucked up about it, about the situation. But you don't even know right now how good that this is going to get for you. That once you realize that help is closer than you think you're never actually alone when you're going through this you're always surrounded by your angels and your universe and call on them and ask them for their help and guidance don't be too proud that you can't get the help that's available to you if you just ask for it you may need to consult family or friends or go to someone um you may need to talk to someone about your situation so you can come out of it a little better than you were when you went in that's what it's all about that is what it's all about and I'm done clarifying because I like these clarifiers. So from the five of pentacles, right? You're going through it. You're coming from that dark place, but you're coming into greatness. Air signs, you have the ace of cups. The ace of cups, that's a new start in love. Queen of cups, ace of cups. Love written all over this reading. Like someone wants to come to you with a love offer. The love of a lifetime. Someone is coming in. This could be someone new or your emperor is here he ain't bullshitting he ain't playing about this connection he wants you and he's not trying to let you go anywhere he's holding that he's holding that down so you have the uh, 
Seven of Wands energy. So stand your ground. Be very defensive, or your person could be very defensive and standing his ground for you. Vice versa, you are this person. So or someone's defending someone. You're defending your person, and your person's defending you and your reputation, okay, for the situation at hand. Because someone's being messy and petty, probably putting your name in the midst of some bullshit that your guy don't like. So he's showing up as the emperor. He's standing tall and powerful and in his strength, and he's letting people know he's not playing about you. He or she, your person's not playing about you with that seven of wands energy it's like bring it on like you come on come off and it's quite a few people sending this energy there could be many people sending this one person like the send off they all sit around right and they get together about it they congregate about it right and then you got this one person that's going to get mad and fired up enough and now he's the fool he's the send off so this will be the person that'll come to you with all this negative energy but you or your person's like mm -mm, we nothing to do none of that He's defending you. He's standing on you. He's firm and he's very serious about you. And he's coming in with this love offer because he or she wants you. So, Eight of Pentacles here. Working really hard. Okay, working really hard. Staying up late nights. Working hard. Working hard for this connection. Okay, with the swords here. You or your person is in your head space. You're meticulously going at it. You're meticulously thinking of ways to improve, to make it better, to get where you can embrace the Ace of Cups energy, right? Because that's what you want. You want that. You want that love. You want your Emperor. You want your Queen of Cups. You want that in your life. You've been through it. You've been through the dark days. You've been left out of the cold. <laughs> you had your dark night of the soul. You've been in your head about it. You've been betrayed. But know that when you put something out there, that's coming back. So someone definitely has some karma out there, be it you or your person. There's a karma that's coming back on somebody because someone was done wrong somewhere. Whether it be you, your person, or the other person, the karmic, the third party here. Or this person is just messy in their daily life you know ventures things that they do every day they just have that like shysty guy or girl type of energy about themselves then they kind of leave some people feeling bitter and scorned and have that karma and shit to um you know come back to them in their life that ain't really a good thing but it is what it is so whoever that resonates with or for let me know because you could definitely be dealing with a narcissist honey i'm thinking narcissist sociopath and i ain't nobody's therapist or psychiatrist i'm just telling you what i know about people and uh, energies and with these cards that's just what it's telling me so magical mermaids and dolphins can you please give me a message for my lovely air signs to complete their love reading they'd appreciate it <laughs> so guys this is so amazing thank you for stopping by i'm gonna always continue to say that I'm gonna get two cards for you guys. Two. All right. So from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck, we have consult an expert. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, talk to somebody. You know, get some help, honey. You're gonna need help. You're gonna need help, and your oracle is clarifying the clarifiers. So like, definitely get some help. Definitely get out your headspace about the situation. Don't give up. Don't throw in a towel. You want to. Don't quit. You'd be surprised when you get right to the end and right to the bottom and think that it's over, that nothing good can come out of this, that all is lost. Be surprised at that moment how close you are to your breakthrough. It's like right around the corner. If you're at the stop sign, you just really can't see what's around that corner. You got to get out there a little bit more. You're going to think you're going to go and plumb in and then fall off, but you're not. Get out there a little bit more and see your greatness is there. It's going to come to you. It's going to come into fruition. But do what you got to do. Nurture yourself and take care of yourself. So consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So the divination for the card in the book is that you just need to seek help from those who have more help in your particular area, what you're going through, what your blockages is, what your main worry and stressors are in your life. It's okay to go seek help and to ask someone with more experience in that area than yourself to help you get through it. It's for your own good. So accept that. Wait, don't rush into action right now. Buy, buy your time for better results. So don't rush into the action right now. Look at that mermaid, look how chill she is. You know, she's like, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> she's really chill, she's relaxed and she's taking her time and she's not stressed because she understands the law of attraction. She knows that thoughts are things. 
okay and she wants to manifest her best life for you she wants you to manifest your best life so with that being said i hope this helps someone up there i'm not getting anything else right now for this reading but um i'm definitely feeling the queen of cups and the ace of cups somebody here got some good things going so thank you all take care and thanks for stopping by i'm gonna say